What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be unboxing my Freddy vs. Jason figure made by NECA Toys. Open the box and we see the figure. I always love this uh, artwork here that NECA puts on the inside of the figures. It's awesome. Always looks great. And then here you see the figure. Pretty awesome. I like it. So here's the figure. Okay guys, it just took me about five minutes or more just to pull this guy out of the box um, but that was a bit of a nightmare but you know you can't blame NECA for packing their items tightly um, but so here we have the figure and I can say holding him and looking at him that wow for 30 bucks, a figure like this. Big, tall figure like this is amazing looking. Just amazing. Really amazing. I honestly love it, the way it looks. Um, so here we have his accessories. He comes with two swords one not two swords I should say two machetes one that doesn't have any blood on it one that does have blood on it he comes with this little fire piece that I believe goes on the sword somehow probably should have tried doing this before I would think it goes on the back of the sword back of the machete um, then he comes with two masks two additional masks besides the one that he's already wearing one that has blood all over it. And one that seems to be pretty much close to the same mask, I would say, as the one that he's already wearing. Just a little bit more dirty. Um, but... Then he comes with, now I love when companies do stuff like this. I don't know why, um, but I love when they add like little things that are just totally crazy and you wouldn't think they would add like his teddy bear. I mean, that's really awesome that they include this teddy bear. Um... Especially for like a horror figure. It's kind of crazy to include the teddy bear. So the first thing I notice, I'm not really somebody that focuses too much on articulation. I mean, I'll pose him maybe like once or twice, but you're not going to see me in videos bending and showing you all the articulation. Only because I actually like to keep my figures pretty much, I mean for now, pretty much... The way they come um, aside from little things so I notice his waist is uh, I want to say I want to say kind of loose but not really nothing to complain about um, one thing I would say um, 
that I don't like is how to make him taller he has like stilted shoes. That's kind of annoying. Maybe we could have just made him tall to begin with and have regular shoes, but he still looks awesome. Even with those shoes, because you're not really looking at his shoes, you're looking at him overall. So you, you can quickly bypass that in your mind. Um, that one other thing I would say is, now this happens with NECA a lot, I notice. But a little bit of paint issues here. So here, you see it has that rustic look, but here, it's pretty much unpainted. And just black at the joint. Now, of course, that's not a big deal, you know, it just raises arms, which I don't like to do too much. And if I do, I'm doing it very little. So you're not going to see me bending and showing multiple articulation. I'm just not, do not like to do that. I feel like it, it makes the toy feel overly used when you do that. And as much as I want to give people a great review, I, this is overall w one of my figures and I still want to keep it the way I like it. I hope people don't mind that, but all right, so this is going to be the first time I actually remove his mask. Um, so here we go. Oh, that's sick. Pretty sick. So here's his mask. Removed pretty easily. You can see his face does have like pretty much a uh, Frankenstein look to it. Um, you see there, and he does kind of have that kind of melon head look that people I've heard talk about. He also has that melon head look in the movies. Um, so that doesn't bother me at all. Um, so here he is. I'm just going to put one sword in his hand. Let's see how hard this is to do. Not too bad. I'm going to put prefer probably the mask he comes with to be on his head when I'm displaying him so I am gonna just put this one back on and I wonder how he hold now he can hold this teddy bear in his hand if they did that and they did that now he doesn't come with any additional hands but wow the fact that he could hold that teddy bear that is impressive. I like that. I I love that somebody would look at this and say, wow, what a crazy looking figure. And, you know, how, how dark and scary looking and bad. But then he's holding a teddy bear. Incredible. Love that. So, yeah, guys, um, I love the figure. I think it's beautiful. I would give it, I would say, probably a 9 to 9.5 out of 10. I would say it's a must own. You know, it would be nice if it came with some swap outable hands, which I would probably rarely swap out anyway. Um, I don't know what else I would ask it to come with, but it definitely looks very cool, in my opinion. I like it. So yeah, guys, pick this up. Guys, I just want to do a really quick recap. Um, I was just standing this guy on a desk. 
um, the way he is, man, holding the teddy bear and the fling. I will. I love this figure. This is probably going to be one of my favorite figures. I am so happy to have this. NECA, you guys killed it. Definitely, definitely a 9.5. Um, again, the only reason I would say that, I'm not too happy about his platform shoes. But, not a big deal. Beautiful figure. NECA killed it. Without a doubt, you know, without a doubt, this is amazing. Um, you know, it's hard to always say one of my favorite figures. Um, you know, do I have an absolute all-time favorite? I would say probably not because I have so many. But this is definitely one of my favorite. Definitely. This goes right in that list. Beautiful. Very happy to have it. Alright guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, it helps. Thank you. Subscribe to me channel. Follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. Like, leave a comment. Follow me on social media. Louis Six Cards. Whee!